Here we go. <laughs> how dark it is. Well, it's 8.45. They were late today. Look at the tower. We'll <laughs> <clears throat> see the labels. Okay. A little bit of road rage there or something. Tape. Beep. <laughs> okay. And then there's another box. Boxception. Can you see that box? They're sideways, but whatever. Actually, bubble wrap. There we finally go. You can see it. All right. I'll grab that other thing too, and we'll go upstairs. Of course, you're not going to see the other thing. All right, here we go. Yeah, you might have seen this on eBay. And no, I didn't pay the full price for it. Don't worry about that. I negotiate with the seller. I see put another one up there though for almost the same price that he had this one on there. Anyway, of course you've already seen this. Baltimore Arms and Fans Finish has one. He got a new box. He also had a good point that that horn looks like an Edwards one. You can see like a little flat area there. See, I'll go like this, and then boot, and then that. All right. Careful. I feel it. There it is. Cool. Oh, there went the battery. It's an energizer battery. The original one. Had a long day today at a concert. You know, it could have been worse. I, we were going to have two concerts at the same time. Or not at the same time, but one after the other. Anyway, here's the... There's the battery. It's actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, no corrosion or... It's actually in pretty good shape. And no corrosion or anything. No bulging. Wow. Well, here's the inside. Again, you've seen Baltimore Lines and Fans Vintage. It looks just like his. Oh, I thought that was divided into six. I was wrong. Then divided into four. Let's see, we've got writing on here, I think. It's maybe not. I thought there was writing in cover of Baltimore Women's Fans. There's writing in here, though. Okay, there's your Kobishi horn sensors hiding out in there. There's your test lever. Now 
Now, I wonder if this is going to go off. See, we're okay right now. Almost nine, but still. Let's take the battery out of the sears here. A tink. That's a pretty high pitched one, too. I think that's pretty rare with the actual pitch of the alarm is the same pitch as the the diaphragm. Okay, let's put the cover back on. And there we go. Cool. Oh, there's some writing here. Mounting hardware just fell. Doesn't matter. All right. Just a sec. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. Now, what will we call oh, this? Again, you've already seen this because Baltimore Arms and Fans, his came with the manual too. And again, this shows that same type of horn. If you want to read, pause. And as you can see here, it's got the flat, kind of the flat style horn. So, yeah, maybe they did use Edwards horns at one time or the Delta Alarm or I'm not sure if Do Douglas Randall made DC ones. Warranty. Notifier. Which is, we believe, one and the same. So yes, technically a notifier did make smoke alarms. And Firelight actually did too. You know, they were rebrands of the uh, the Pyrotector units. <clears throat> you might have seen this other one here too. Because of course I have the newer model. This is the 035615. And here's the 915. And of course, this has notifier on it, too. Will they the same? No. Torrance, California, and this one's Lincoln, Nebraska. That's from 85.
think this one's got eight eight sections here and it's got the test button in front because it's based on the gateway scientific or pearl circuitry to the button here well, it looks like there's more vent on this too yeah, it's sick <clears throat> 40 since there's five five of these three four five to each each one of these slots now how about this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so this would be 44 then yeah Yep, 44. And let's see. This part's a little thicker, I think. The section. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Da, da. Yeah, just a little bit thicker. If you can see that, and the size, yeah, the main face is bigger on this one, and the size of the unit's bigger, of course. And thickness, yep, this one's thicker, bigger, of course, heavier because it's got the horn, the electromechanical horn, and of course, I don't have a battery in this. Now, seen these, seen this at least once in person. I mentioned this in my newspaper's browsing video. It's our friend's house. Same name as one of my dad, dad's friends. One of my dad's friends in Austin. They had a house in Jamesville, which I mentioned there. They had like the scotch, their house tape tart, and carpet on their stairway. I can't remember what alarms they had. I think they had a Then they moved to Austin. There. To the house that we would eventually move to. The square. Then they moved to one that had one of these. And I could tell it was one of these. Because it was, you know, on the wall. And I could see that. I could see the dome of the horn. But then their house caught fire and the thing never went off. They were wondering if maybe it was bad. You know, just lost sensitivity or... What could have happened too is it was all the way up on the top of the wall because their living room was <clears throat> like divided off into the hallway by a wall. So let's just say this is the living room and this is the hallway. There's a wall like this. I don't want to drop it. And then it was like right up there and right against the ceiling. So luckily, because the fire started in the living room, the smoke just came over here and then probably just even just totally avoided the detector completely. And then, yeah, it was right next to the ceiling, so in the dead airspace. I think I might have seen one someone, someone somewhere else, too. Not sure. And then one of these was on Sesame Street. Watch. Episode 2032. Jan Eaton actually uncovered the episode for us, even though I remember seeing it. Great, do it again. When I was a kid. It was in, I think, the diner or something. He had just installed it. Let's see. That's a little. If I remember right, that, that one kind of had a shine to it. And this one really doesn't, but. They probably had, you know, big studio lights here. Let's see. iPhone's kind of blowing it up or whatever. But anyway, he actually makes the proper maneuver to test it. He goes like this. 
but the unit doesn't go off itself. It's just a dubbed in sound. So they probably actually did. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, they probably did sound it. And then they just stubbed the sound in. Of course, Oscar was there, and he loved the sound. And I said, no, no, I don't want to use the batteries. Because he tested it twice. And Oscar finds his air horn, and he tortures everyone on the street scenes through the entire episode. And then, a sister's show from what was then Children's Television Workshop, now Sesame Workshop, 321 Contact, science-based show, they had these. Their senses, special sensors episode. Sadly, I don't think we have ever seen that one yet. You know, online, I should say. I've seen it. But they had this. And then there was evidently one with light, too, because they mentioned that. But what's interesting, though, they had the manual, or a manual. It was actually like the color of like cardboard. So it mentioned a red button on the side, like this. And then it was like right at the end they said, oh, we forgot to test the one, it's like Kathy or Lisa or whatever, took upstairs. You think she knows how to test it? Then it goes, dee, 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 and she goes, ah! If I remember right. Let's see. Man, it looks like this is, this outer ring is bigger. This, this texturing is a little rougher. And of course, you know, this one uses a bracket. Well, this one just mounts directly to the ceiling. It's got these little standoffs. Or wall, of course. Yeah, I've seen one of these somewhere else, too. I can't remember. Installed, that is. Look at the box. And I like that, kind of like a Almost like a sound wave coming out of it. An early warning, and I kind of like that, do the old, like, full stop type thing. I saw them in really old advertisements. And that font's pretty cool. I don't see any lights though, but again though, this shows the flat horn too. And this shows what looks more like the Cassidy Engineering Guard Site version. Or their hardwired version of this. Photoelectric Elevators has one. Paid a pretty penny for it. And again, you can see that it's using that guard site style cover or JC Penny. I actually had one of those, but you know what happened with it? Lost in the fucking move. You gotta be careful, it's getting late. I think we've already, yeah, we've already seen all sides of this. Actually, coming here, of course. Uh, Got to turn off this fan. One you're going to see in my thrifting video. Got to get that finished. Uh oh, is this the bad one?
And there you go. It works. And there you go, folks. Mhart zero three five six one five. I think I'm only the second one to have one. Not to brag or anything, but like I said Baltimore Arms and fans will beat me to it. There you go, folks. Thanks for watching. Oh, there's one down here.